Alright, well, I'm sorry about that. I'm just uh, going off of where I was before, but this is the two pin adapter just for the ground and positive 12 volts for that. So we're just going to mainly be focusing on that. I'll plug the fan in afterwards to see how exactly, you know, how much stuff is going through that. So let me go ahead and get this over here. Uh, that is bright. And here is the controller for it. And uh, it does come with a nice rubbery grip around it just for, you know, grip or anything like that. You can always just take it off. But it does have the Lipa or the Lepa. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce that. Um, but it does have all of the buttons on here. It does have a brightness up, brightness down, off switch and the on switch. Uh, it does have a flash, sparkle, auto one, and auto two. We're gonna go ahead and just go through those four buttons first, which are the flash. Let me go ahead and try and darken this up a little bit. There we go. That is the flash, this is the sparkle, which is gonna look a little bit weird on camera. It doesn't have that flashy effect that I'm seeing right now. The Auto 1 just kinda goes through, uh, kinda looks like a rave right now, going through all the colors and everything. Let me go ahead and slow this down. You can, use, you can slow these down by just going through the up and down brightness switches. So if I just slow it down, it'll go through all these single individual colors. Let me go ahead and darken that back up. And you can slow it down to pretty much, that's, a, that's about as slow as it's going to go. So it's like two to one ratio for every second, or three to one. Uh, let me go to auto two. Auto 2 looks like it's just um, going to kind of go in and out pretty slowly. So we'll do all of that. Let me go ahead and see if there's any speed up or anything. Nope. So that one's just going to be like that. Let's just go to uh, 2... take this cover off really quick. It might be interrupting with some of the stuff. Alright, so I'm just going to turn it off, turn it back on. Let's just go straight to white. So that is what white looks like. Then we have blue. So on camera, white and blue don't really look that much different. There's white, there's blue, there's green, red, like an orangish color, a teal, let's just go through all the blue, so we've got blue, a lighter blue, a kind of like a purple, a pink, and an extreme pink. For the greens, we have the green, we have like a teal color, we got a light blue, say blues really aren't that different, they're pretty much like almost all the sh same shade other than the green. And we've got the red, orange, yellow, uh, a brighter yellow, and then a brighter yellow than that. <coughs> but that is pretty much everything for there. Let me turn this back on to white really quick. It does have one of those like push pull button releases on there, so you have to push this to the side and then kind of pull that out with another uh, finger and it just takes a single button battery for that. So it does, does take one of those button batteries and it is a CR2025. So that is a CR2025 lithium cell battery button battery. It's like a standard watch pretty much. Um, but other than that, 
I mean, it does look really good. Let me go ahead and plug this into a just a regular same one. I'm just going to turn off the LED. This is going to be on pretty much full. take this guy say so not much airflow going through I mean there is a lot you can feel a lot of it coming out of there go ahead and disconnect you really quick and just bring you down just so that we can go ahead and not get like a thermal on there but see if we can go ahead and just capture some uh, some more airflow going through that Is pretty much the fan right there you know the I mean it is gonna come with everything else is in the box so we do have the back plate for that which is the Intel AMD and AM4 we do have the additional um, mounting brackets for that which is for the LGA series and the AM3 AM4 and the FM series we do have all of the other retaining hardware along with the kind of looks like a rubbery gasket to put on the back of that back plate so it doesn't interrupt or damage anything on there. You also have a small little thing of thermal paste, it looks like about like a 2.5 grams or less. And that is everything that's in the box. Let me just go ahead and put this all away. And we will see you next time. Uh, just, you know, there's going to be some more videos coming out. You know, I've got, like I said, I've got that entire box down there that I need to review. Um, you know, just to go ahead and do an unboxing. i got some more stuff up there. But that is pretty much it. All right, thank you. Bye.